Hey, this is James. Uh, this week I'm going to show you uh, some of the methods to trim or cut uh, a wall with uh, a roof. So this is quite a common situation. But there's a few different methods we have and each of them have a different uh, kind of pros and cons or situations that uh, might need to use them. So here I've got uh, the merge command, trim, uh, crop, and the solid element operations command. So I'll just go through one by one and just to uh, indicate the differences. So first up, the merge. I select the two elements. And so currently they're just uh, occupying the same space. Uh, actually, yeah, I've already done it, so cancel that. So I've got to merge. So they're just uh, intersecting. Well, not even intersecting, they're just occupying the same space. So if I select the wall and the single plane roof, right click connect and merge elements. Okay, so at first it doesn't look like so much, but you'll notice that I see some extra lines here. So if I turn on the cutting planes and just have a look at this in section. So I can actually see that these two elements are interacting based on the building material priority. So it's as if, you know, like if you have wall and slab or wall and wall uh, intersecting, then this is how we can actually intersect the roof and the wall together. So this can be useful sometimes if the roof uh, needs to, so if the wall actually needs to continue, but you just need to intersect the, uh, the materials. Okay, so this is the first one, Merge. Let's have a look at then Trim. I'm going to select the Wall and Roof, right-click, Connect, Trim. And I'm going to use the Roof in the selection and Trim. Okay, so let's have a look at this in section. So here I can see the Roof, uh, the Wall is still there. And I'm just going to modify this cutting plane. Okay. So here I can see it's very similar to the merge, except that it's trimmed off the part above the roof. So this is what we would normally use, and it's using based uh, it's cutting based on the skin level and based on the building material priority. So I'll go back to this just to show how we can uh, inter uh, change the priority and how that affects uh, this section. So I'm just going to delete and then turn off. Okay. So let's have a quick look at the third one, crop. So I'm gonna select both, right click. And here at a separate command, we have crop. So the single plane roof. Uh, it asks me, do I wanna crop the top part, the bottom part? Uh, how do other elements um, might need to be cropped here? And do I want to set the wall uh, down so it is not uh, overextending? But we'll leave this off for now, so we'll just go crop the top of it and crop. Okay, and let's have a, so it looks very similar to the trim, but let's have a look at this in section. So I'll bring my cutting plane. And when I look at it in section, so unlike the trim, which is doing it at the element le uh, skin level, this only trims uh, crops, at <laughs> crops at the uh, element level. So you can see here, it just it took the, the whole geometry of the roof and then just cropped it off uh, from the top. Uh, another thing you'll notice between these two types, so I'm just going to delete this cutting plane, turn that off. So another thing you'll notice that if I move this roof up for the trim, then it's associative. So it actually intersects and interacts with the roof being moved. If I modify this one, then this is a more permanent uh, cut to the uh, to the uh, to the wall here. So for the trim, if we want to remove it, we have this little grip that appears, and we can just hit the uh, basically the X to cancel it. But for a crop, we can right click and then say undo all crops. So I'm quickly going to undo the movement of the roofs and I will undo this crop 
and the boundary line. So there's another way. So one way I showed was just right clicking and cropping to a single plane roof. But if I select just the wall and hit Command on Mac or Control on Windows and then click on the roof, then this also will do a crop. So this is just a, a small shortcut to do the same uh, crop. But again, this is not a, a live connection, it's just a kind of a permanent, and then we have to undo that uh, crop. But it's also at the element level. So if we have a, then a look at the last option, so the solid element operations, and I'm gonna then open up the palette, so here. So because I selected, it already add this as a target. I'm gonna add the roof as an operator, then I'm going to do a subtraction with upward extrusion and execute. Okay, so it looks quite similar to the other two. And if we have a look at this one in section, like the others, then you can see it's actually quite similar to the crop. So it only does it at the element level and it doesn't consider the priority of the skins here. But it is still associative, so if I move this uh, roof up, then it still associates and still updates. Yeah. So let's remove, turn off the crops, I mean, sorry, the cutting planes. Okay, so these are the four methods. So we have merge. Basically, it's just uh, do you want to intersect the skins when they cut through? Trim does merge, but then cuts the top off, cut, cuts the top of the um, of the wall. Crop will do a simple cut from the from the roof level, but it's permanent. And solid element operations again is similar to crop, but it's associative. So let's have a look at trim again. Just going back to this one. Okay, so because this is at the skin level, I'm going to select the wall that's sitting here. And I'm going to go to my building materials. And I can sort by selection. So because I selected it, I can sort by selection. And I have this brick skin, so here. And I'm going to reduce the priority, and then we'll see kind of what happens uh, here. So I'm going to reduce it down to something like 300 and hit OK. And now I can see it's actually uh, weaker than the skin in the roof uh, here. So this is all based on the building material priority. So I'll just cancel the cutting planes. Okay, so these are the four different methods. Hopefully that was useful and helps to slightly better explain the differences between these uh, different kind of cutting methods. Uh, so yeah, hopefully that, hopefully that was useful. Thanks.